New tea from the Invictus Games. Today a source on Blind Item reported that Invictus Games attendees are now spilling the tea in social media and leaking that Meghan Markle's appearance is freaking people out. She looks scary, skinny, her face waxed, her teeth horribly fake, and her behaviour is hysterical, as if she was high on something. In several months, the camera caught tendons bulging on Meghan's legs. She's really got that azempic face and body going on. She needs to lay off the azempic. She looks unhealthy. So many wrinkles, her dress, her face, her neck. This is not going well at all. And she's only warming up. Too hard on the weight loss and now has excess saggy skin. She clearly Botoxes her masseters. See her strong boxy jaw of the early 2010s. So now other muscles are holding all of the tension, but especially with the azempic and aging appearance, it looks bad. I guess that explains all of the unreasonable Hermes scarves. There are photos of Megan wearing J. Crew outfit. They show the muscle deterioration on her legs post azempic. Unfortunately, she'll probably never get that back at her age. It would take serious nutrition and exercise for a long period of time. All I see is too much spray tan. She looks like she flew from the Jersey Shore to get there. Hat, dark coloured, bronzer and makeup over spray on tan embeds itself into any imperfections and exacerbates them. Her best look would be to embrace her light colour instead of morphing into a pumpkin. She should embrace her natural hair too, if she has any left. Those fillers that Hollywood is so enamoured of look hideous. I fear that she's going to turn into a character of herself any day now. Mail Online reveals Meghan Markle did her own hair and makeup ahead of getting on stage and speaking at the Invictus Games. Speaking at her first Invictus Games engagement, she apologised for being late and explained that she was spending time with their children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet, at the couple's Montecito mansion before jetting off. Aid said that Meghan did her own hair and makeup soon after arriving at a five-star hotel in Dusseldorf and got ready for the event in just over an hour. With long and loose hair, Meghan opted for loose waves, which complemented a £112 Banana Republic shirt dress. She then opted for a low-key makeup look with a creamy foundation and deep pink lips with thick eyelash extensions. Meghan typically works with American makeup artist Daniel Martin, who did her makeup on a wedding day. However, Mr. Martin was celebrating his anniversary with husband Randall Statler in Mexico. Her go-to hairstylist, George Northwood, appeared to be working with Alexa Chung at the opening of the Vogue World Newsstand at Selfridges, London, so it was also unavailable. So doing her own hair is some sort of heroic act. Suddenly, she wears a $70 dress and does her own hair, and everyone is supposed to admire her simplicity and humility. First of all, she looks the same in expensive clothes or not expensive clothes. Her hair is a mess regardless of who does it, and putting this much time and effort into looking relatable isn't fooling anyone. She's made it very clear what she's all about over the past few years.